Oh man, so Drake has done the unthinkable dog. Y'all remember back in the days when you playing your cousin in Madden or NBA Live or something and you whooping his ass. He getting beat so bad they start screaming, man, the game cheating, man, the game cheating, bro. I don't care the game cheating. You like, bro, this your game, bro. This your controllers. We at your crib. What you mean the game cheating? Like, nah, bro, you cheating. You, you, you doing cheat codes and shit. The game cheating, like, bro. You literally try to teach me cheat codes. Like, I learned everything from you. But he just can't accept this L. Like, nah, bro, the game is cheating. Well, Drake is yelling the game is cheating. And he is suing his own record label, UMG, Spotify, who's showing him so much love and accusing him of launching an illegal scheme involving bots, payola, and other methods to pump Kendra Lamar's song, a track that savagely attacked Drake amid an ongoing feud between the two stars. Technically, technically, in technical terms, Monday's filing is not yet a full lawsuit, but a so-called pre-action petition, a procedure under New York law that aims to secure information before filing a lawsuit. So it's official. Drake is beefing with his late. All the speculation about it is confirmed. But let's get to some details, dog. So first thing first, Punch from TDE says, nah, the rap streets is done. Must have said, OMG, loud motherfucking eyes, oh, bruh. This is crazy, but shout out to Lauren LaRose. So y'all know she always come through with the details. So she says this right here. The LLC froze the moments owned by Drake and registered in Florida filed this lawsuit. This lawsuit alleged Not Like Us wasn't as big as it seemed. Specifically, that Kendra's team at UMG Interscope used money that he didn't report and paid bots to make Not Like Us bigger than it seemed across radio DSPs, particularly Spotify, and podcasts and influencers, causing Drake harm financially. This lawsuit alleged UMG on behalf of Kendrick also paid to manipulate Apple Music. It's accusing UMG of paying Apple Inc. to have Siri misdirect users to not like us. Finally, this lawsuit is alleging that UMG is covering this all up by allegedly firing employees who have loyalty to Drake and by not admitting to any of it and refusing to negotiate compensation for damages with Drake, who this suit alleges has reached out to UMG to settle this harm several times. Even more crazy, this suit alleged UMG actually told Drake to sue Kendra directly, not them. The suit says UMG told the OVO camp they'd also bring legal action against Kendrick if Drake pursued actions against UMG. So that's a footnote, man. As I get my hands on it, I'll read more to come back with some more details from my own words, dog. But boy, let's get to some reactions from around the culture. Terrell Mallory from the Mallory Twins says, Drake filing that lawsuit proves my theory of why he releases singles on IG and that website. Is this his plot twist solution? But Monty Jones says, oh, well, I'ma call the police. Uh. <laughs> Dude says, no, Drake, the people actually like this song. It won the popular vote and the electoral college, man. <laughs> hey, though, all the people that love the Not Like Us song, you listen to it on Spotify, whatever, please let me know that you're not a bot. Like, just comment, hey, I love the song. I'm not a bot or something like that. Let me know because it's too many people. It's too many people that enjoy this song for the effect to not be real. Like, what are you talking about, man? Okay, let's keep let's keep pushing. As a Drake fan, even if this is all true, taking it to the court of and another exclamation mark behind a generational ad weapon. Anybody co-signing that is fanned out. I'm sick, dog. Update, I fear I might be too fanned out because I just read the entire article. And yeah, I might have sued them niggas too. Okay, I'm going to read the article to see what he's talking about towards now. So according to Drake, Spotify was apparently pushing against him. Does anyone remember when Spotify shoved Drake to the top of every single playlist during the release of Scorpion? Funny how it changes when the shoe is on the other foot. That Drake lawsuit by the hit rap Twitter and every podcast like a kamikaze pilot is going to be a long week. Drake has a rich baby daddy named Lucian in Universal, Kanye West, a few months ago. You say rich baby daddy, it's like Drake has a rich baby daddy named Lucian and Universal. Wow. <laughs> He's like, you know, like, man, my daddy got it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow. my daddy controlled the spins. My daddy got the DSPs. My daddy, Drake wow. has a rich baby daddy named so, Lucian. So Nigga said, <laughs> Uh, this you, a cease and desist is for hoes. Hey, man, Drake keep playing funny in the light, man. He, he says some things on records and moves totally different in real life. They said the nigga who uses streaming era numbers to compare himself to Michael Effin Jackson is suing for inflating numbers. I can't breathe. Rico called for bots that sent me to the moon. That huge blood just took over Drake like a symbiote. Drake went full of hue, man. You never go full Hugh, dog. Oh my God. That nigga went on that white boy stream last night trying to act like he wasn't phased and then serve his own labor the next day, dog. I am crying. But, all right, let's go to the article because I, I want to see if we were sued too, based on what dude said. Like, will we sue though? 
let's read this and comment y'all thoughts as we move along. So Drake has initiated legal action against Universal Music Group and Spotify over allegations that the two companies conspired to artificially inflate the popularity of Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. In a filing Monday, November 25th, in Manhattan court, Drake's Frozen Moments LLC accused UMG of launching an illegal scheme involving bots, payola, and other methods, methods to pump up Lamar's song, a track that savagely attacked Drake amid an ongoing feud between the two stars. They said UMG did not rely on chance or even ordinary business practices, attorneys for Drake's company write. It instead launched a campaign to manipulate and saturate the streaming services and airwaves. Drake's attorneys accused UMG of violating the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, the Federal RICO. <laughs> it's really a RICO? Wow. State often use criminal cases against organized crime. They also allege deceptive business practices and false advertising under New York state law. All right, so Spotify declined to comment on the allegation when reached by Billboard. UMG did not immediately return a quest for comment. Drake's attorneys claim that UMG carried out a scheme in a variety of ways, including by charging Spotify vastly reduced licensing rates in exchange for the streamer recommending the song to users who had searched for unrelated songs and artists. They also claim UMG paid influencers to boost the song on social media and also hired armies of bots to fraudulently spike the numbers. UMG conspired with and paid currently unknown parties to use bots to artificially inflate the spread of Not Like Us and deceive consumers into believing the song was more popular than it, than it was in reality. Drake's lawyer is right. In one particularly eye-catching claim, the petition claims that UMG paid Apple to have his voice assistant feature, Siri, purposely misdirect users to Kendrick's song. Online sources reported that when users asked Siri to play the album, certified Lover Boy by Drake, Siri instead played Not Like Us, which contains the lyrics certified PDF file. An allegation against Drake, the rapper, lawyer is right. Apple is not named as a respondent in the petition nor accused of any legal wrongdoing. A spokesperson for the company did not immediately Immediately returned a request for comment. Why would UMG choose to aggressively boost Lamar's song? Drake's lawyers say it was partially because of the internal corporate dynamics at UMG and Interscope, where financial incentives for executives are largely based on a specific UMG division rather than the performance of UMG generally. They say UMG schemes were motivated at least in part by the desires of executives at Interscope to maximize their own profits. Drake's attorney's right. Executives at Interscope have been incentivized to maximize the financial success of Interscope through the promotion of Not Like Us and its revitalizing impact on the artist's prior record recording catalog. Drake's attorneys say he raised the issue with UMG before heading to court, but that the music giant has no interest in taking responsibility for his misconduct. To the contrary, he claims UMG has actively tried to conceal its wrongdoing, including by firing staffers perceived as having loyalty to Drake. Drake has repeatedly sought to engage UMG in discussions to resolve the ongoing harm he has suffered as a result of UMG's action. The petition reads, UMG refused to engage in negotiations and insisted that UMG is not responsible for its own actions. Instead, Drake says UMG has pointed the finger at Lamar and insisted that Drake should sue his rival rather than the label. He also claims that UMG UMG told him that the label would sue Lamar if Drake ended up filing his own lawsuit. So they're saying they're going to keep updating the story as we get more information, but this shit insane. This <laughs> shit insane. No, no, reading this did not make me feel sorry for Drake. Like, no, this sounds like internet gibberish. It sounds like a conspiracy theory. And it negates from the real people that we see every single day that love the song. This was the biggest rap battle in hip hop history. Drake don't think him getting this is going to be seen and heard by everybody. <laughs> oh man, oh man. But hey, though, it's y'all's turn. Let me know what you gotta say in the comment section below. Me, I'm gonna go ahead and get about it here though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.